everyone. Recently, I had the opportunity to attend the world premiere of a Marathi movie in Singapore. The movie is called Like Any Subscribe and it's truly amazing. It keeps you on your toes throughout. It is directed by Abhishek Mehrorkar and is led by Amir Vag and Amrutha Khanwalkar. I strongly recommend that you watch this movie in theaters to get the absolutely best experience. And the best part is I got to attend the movie premiere not as audience but as an interviewer. My job was to take videos of the audience and to get their reactions before, during and after the movie. And throughout this entire process I got noticed by the goat Amir Vag. So later on when I went to get my own picture with him, he asked me why were you wearing the mic before? And I told him what I was doing. So he told me to give him the mic and he told me to get out my phone and record what he was doing. and he shot a 5 minute sequence of audience reaction totally impromptu from his own imagination and it was such a great experience later on when the event was winding down i shared my passion of interviewing with him i mentioned the zebra crossing and asked if he would will be willing to spend 10 minutes with us and to my delight he agreed the video you are about to watch features that engaging conversation enjoy Welcome to the Zebra Crossing. Today we have a very special guest, Amay Vag, who is a very reputed actor of the movie Marathi movie industry. Thank you so much for being with thank us today. Thank you. So It's we're going to ask. Thank you so much. We're going to ask you some simple questions. Sure. Uh, first of all, you want to sit down? Sure. I'm a little tired. <laughs> If you don't mind, yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, first of all, how did you get into the movie industry? I uh, used to like doing theater when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. I used to do children's theater back in Pune, mm -hmm. and my mom and dad also were kind of uh, wanting me to become an actor. I think it's also a dream that all of us saw together. So I chose acting. Also, I was good in studies, but then I thought I should become an engineer and all. But later on, uh, when I went to college, I uh, kind of realized that my inclination more is towards arts. performing arts in general so then i decided to take up acting as a full time career and what skills do you think you've learned throughout this journey that have helped you actually it's like i learn new things every day hmm. whenever i'm on a film set whenever i'm on stage whenever i go to uh, screenings of my movies meet people i think uh, what i like about this profession is uh, you get to learn new things every day mm -hmm. and uh, it always keeps you on your toes it's like you keep, always have to keep on updating yourself mm -hmm. every time you go on a set you feel uh, underconfident you never know if you're going to deliver uh, what the director wants on that given day mm -hmm. but uh, yeah that's what i like about my profession that i learn every day does this overwhelmingness or this underconfidence get to you sometimes it does uh, but then uh, you also have to trust yourself mm -hmm. uh, all these years uh, everything that you've learned all all the acting techniques the tools especially all the positive moments that you've garnered all the good reactions mm -hmm. whenever you are under confident i feel that all these things uh, do count mm -hmm. uh, especially all those awards also you don't realize the importance of all these things when they are actually happening but when you're feeling low when you're feeling under confident that's mm -hmm. when all these things come to uh, you know use and you can use them positively um throughout your journey what challenges have you faced have you have you overcome them i have faced a lot of challenges i think every day is a new challenge especially when your work is coming out uh, when you want to show your work to the people mm -hmm. like when a film is releasing whenever your new play is opening whenever a new show is coming on ott i think that is the toughest phase ever because uh, as an actor you want validation from the audience and uh, it makes you nervous mm -hmm. uh, You, you are always waiting for people's reactions so i think that is the time when when the work is releasing i think that is the toughest thing and it's always good to see you on the screen yeah you just saw my film what do you think about it's it it's so good i love yeah. it it's on my top list there yeah. yeah you think i should go and rest now oh yes very because much. i did a good job <laughs> yes <laughs> okay thank you so much for your time thank today thank you Thank you so much for making me a part of your podcast. What do you call it? The Zebra Crossing. Zebra Crossing. Why yes. do you call it the Zebra? Because I interview different people from different fields, and as a 16-year-old, it's my exposure to all these different fields. Oh wow! Okay, so that's the Zebra Crossing. Yes. Right? Wherever there's traffic, there's a mm -hmm. Zebra Crossing, mm -hmm. and people need to slow down on that, right? Yes. So people need to slow down and watch our interviews on Zebra Crossing. I wish you all the best mm -hmm. for your channel. Oh lovely we have a zebra crossing that's amazing or was it a chimpanzee what was it but oh, that's a monkey
<laughs> but that's a kangaroo <laughs> thank you thank you so much thank you so Love much you. for your time thank you